Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today, I'll be showing you two methods you can use to construct a square. I will now go ahead and border my paper. A square is a quadrilateral that consists of four sides. The four sides are equal in length. A square also contains four 90 degree internal angles. A square also contains four edge. Four equal sides, four 90 degree angles, and we have four edge of a square. I'll now be showing you the first method to construct a square. I will draw my line AB to measure 80 millimeters. The squares we construct today all sides will be 80 millimeters in length. I will now outline my 80 millimeters on this line. I will label the line AB. I will now open my compass to a convenient radius and I will use points B and point A to scribe arcs to touch this line. With my compass at B, I will scribe an arc to touch this line. And do the same at point A. I have just extended my line from A somewhere so that it could intersect with this arc. I will now open my compass a little more and I will bisect. I will, I will draw a line that will, bi well, that will bisect this line at point B. So with your compass open a little more, I'm, we will be using this point and this point to get intersecting arcs above B and below B. We will do the same using these two arcs that intersected this line to get arcs above point A and below point A. So we use this point as center of our compass and this point over here.
Now we will draw a line through the intersection of the arcs. So from the intersection of the arcs, we'll draw a line and it will pass, pass through point B. We will do the same, draw a line from this intersection through this intersection and it will also pass through point A. The next step is that we will open our compass to the 80 millimeters, which is the same measurement of the line AB. So if you want, you can open it from here to AB or we could use our set square or a straight edge, a ruler. So we will now double check by. Okay, there we have our 80 millimeters. Then we will put our compass at point B and we will scribe an arc to touch this line. We will do the same at point A. Now what we have just done is that we have just identified the length of our our, our B, D line. So I'm going to call this point D. I'm now going to call this point C. And I will now draw a line from point C to point D. I will now outline my required square. Now this is one method we can use to construct our, our square. Now when I measure, I am getting 80 millimeters. This line is 80 millimeters. This line is also 80 millimeters. And CD is also 80 millimeters. So all sides of a square have the same length. I'll now show you another method you can use to construct a square. I will first draw my line AB and outline my 80 millimeters on this line.
I will now label the line AB. I will now construct a perpendicular at B. In order to do so, I will open my compass to a convenient radius. And I will draw a semicircle from point B to touch this line. I will now open my compass just a little more to get intersecting arcs above B. I will use this point and also this point to get the intersecting arcs above B. I will now draw a line from the intersection, from B through the intersection of the arcs. I will now open my compass to 80 millimeters. I will put my compass at B, so the center for the compass is at point B, and I will scribe an arc to intersect this line. The radius of my compass is 80 millimeters. I will call this point D. And I will now put my compass at point D with the compass having the same radius of 80 millimeters and I will scribe an arc. I will also put my compass at A. And with the compass having the same 80, 80 millimeters, you do not move the radius of the compass. You will scribe an arc, an arc to intersect this arc. Now this intersection just gave us point C of our square. I will now draw a line from point C to point D and from point C to point A.
I will now outline my required square. This was our second method to construct a square. So a square is a quadrilateral. The word quad means four, having four sides, four equal sides, all equal to each other. Now a square also contains four internal angles, four 90 degree internal internal angles and four edge one two three four Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.